Welcome to The Pun Show. I'm your host, Macklin MacLugie, coming at you not live from a not-television studio. This is the world's first and only bi-weekly web series that takes a strong look at puns. So strong that we'll have haters saying, bi-weekly. Tomorrow's Monday, so today must be Pun Day, May 10th. It's Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day to my mother-in-law, whose favorite football team, the Giants, plays in a city in New Jersey called East Motherford. Now it's time for the pun of the day. The Rocky movies make me cry so much that I call him the Italian Scallion. More on that pun in tomorrow's episode. Please welcome my first ever guest on The Pun Show, Nate Ballard. Uh, Nate, thanks for being here. Yes, thanks for having me. Nate, for people who don't know you, uh, who is who is Nate Ballard? Uh, he's, uh, he's an entrepreneur uh, of comedy. Um, so any, I invest in comedy. Um, so anybody who has comedy, um, bring it to the table and I'll see if I can uh, replicate or make it better. Um, a punch-up artist, if you will. Uh, I have a podcast that I work on sometimes. Um, should be working on more, but uh, that's um, that's my day job. I'm also, uh, yeah, I'm on an improv team called Day Job. <laughs> and uh, how are you holding up during quarantine? What's filling your days? What's fun about it? What's awful about it? Uh, what's great about it is uh, the movie theaters are um, much less crowded. I don't have to worry about whenever I'm taking my plane rides, I don't have to worry about people jostling me. Um, now, pr business as usual here. Uh, <laughs> yeah, you're out more than ever these days. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I brought you on the show, Nate, because you're probably the only person, no, you're not the only person. You're not yeah, that. You're I'm not, not. I'm definitely not. I'm not. <laughs> as you, you at least, that's too. You're the first person that I met who I felt comfortable not stopping doing puns. <laughs> I've since learned there are other people that I can consistently do puns around and it's okay. But you're the first person who like at the time did puns more than me. I would like hold back and you, you had no chill. Yeah, I've been known to be called an enabler. <laughs> an innate blur. Innate blur. An innate blurred. And now you're in a Mac blur. Am I Just, not coming in focus for you? No, it's a, yeah, it's a connection. It's fine. Oh, you know, it's my hand. <laughs> that would be it. Uh, how many blurs am I holding up? <laughs> uh, you're, I can't tell. It looks like your head just got shaved by a jumbo jet. It did. So that's, that's at least one blur. That's it. It was a jumbo jet, blurred my hair off. And, uh, but I'll put a little uh, blur about that in the captions when I post this video. Uh, do you want to say anything more about this podcast that you allu alluded to? Sure. Um, I should have had props at the ready. All right. So this is um, uh, basically, so I don't know how long ago it came out, but uh, Dirty Dancing, right? Okay. The, uh, the movie. Uh, well, um, I've gotten... I was not a part of this dance group, but they uh, they all got cards made of themselves, and I guess for a dirty dancing kind of show. Um, so basically, I'm re doing a podcast that's recreating these playing cards. Um, so, you can see the... so how are you using an an audio medium to recreate uh, visual props? Look at that! She's wearing. She's got like a lay on her head. Um, uh great question well actually i actually have uh this guy's doing the same thing as the guy. <laughs> um uh, actually this is what i was actually reaching for and i got sidetracked and just realized right now this dirty dancing card set is just the uh, is just that it has nothing to do with the podcast but i kept it in the same spot that i keep my promo materials for my podcast and it's called thread corner thread corner turn it there it's a it's a podcast i can't stress enough uh about i stress about it because it's <laughs> like the only thing i've got uh, uh, and also uh what's cool about it is it's kind of a, it's very interactive so there's a there's a number people can call uh once you get on board the podcast or you can there's an email all this is in the show notes so you don't have to listen to it but you could 
uh, be on the podcast if you want to leave a message um, and tell us how you feel about that podcast. Anyway, um, it's, it transcends just normal podcasting, so you got to be alert, but uh, I'm telling you, it's, there's a lot of value in it. So uh, that's, uh, yeah, that's what I get down on. Now. Great. I will say the Dirty Dancing podcast sounded better to me. Ah, yes. Um, actually, they, they give me an idea. Look at these two. They're holding uh, watermelons. <laughs> well, that about does it for today's episode. We're back tomorrow with an all-new episode. Let's take a sneak peek. Welcome to The Pun Show. I'm your host, Macklin MacLoogie. This is episode two. Wow, that looks good. I'm Macklin MacLoogie, and have a great day. That wasn't a pun. There was no seductive double meaning. In you went, though. <laughs>